Jessie V, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about literally the creepiest Alice in Wonderland movie ever made because yes, there were so many adaptations, so many TV shows, movies that portrayed the Alice in Wonderland story, but this particular one from 1933, oh my goodness. This was a completely real movie that came out, but because it was so scary, a lot of parents didn't let their children watch it, and so it was forgotten over the years and a lot of people call it the lost tapes of Alice in Wonderland. So I'm gonna be talking about that in just a moment, but as you can probably see behind me, I do have a new March backdrop. I do have to say the quality isn't as crisp as I would like it to be, but it's still good. It's just not crisp. But if you are a Harry Potter fan, you can tell this is Hogwarts behind me. Whenever I get a chance to have a Harry Potter backdrop, I will take it. Every single time I will take it. And it's so weird that I have a Harry Potter background, but I'm wearing like a Yoda <laughs> Star Wars shirt with my thermal detonator necklace. I thought Yoda's face would be more in the video, but it's not. But he's there. Do you see him? He is there. Okay, so because I have a new backdrop behind me, that means I'll be announcing the winner of last month's backdrop. That contest was over on my new channel called Jesse's Bookshelf. And the winner is K Disney. Thank you so much for all the interaction you've been giving on that channel and for subscribing there, for hanging out with me while I've review books. And thank you also to everyone else who entered. And if you would like to enter this new backdrop behind me, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jessie V channel, turn on your notification bell, and then head over to my two Instagram accounts. One is my main one called Jessie V. Another one is our Yana Instagram, Yana underscore group. Follow them both and then DM me on my Jessie V account and send me a quote that inspires you. This quote can be from a book, from a movie, from a poem, maybe something your parents always used to tell you, maybe a quote that you made up yourself. It could be any quote that inspires you. Send that to me on my Jessie V Instagram. And at the end of the month, I will choose a winner and you will win this backdrop and your quote will be posted on our Yana Instagram. So yeah, that is how you enter to win. And without further ado, let's get right into this very creepy video. Okay, so if you've read any of the Alice in Wonderland books or you've seen any of the movies, you basically know what the whole premise is about. I feel like even if you haven't seen any Alice in Wonderland movies, you know basically what happens to her. Alice falls asleep, ends up in Wonderland, eats and drinks various things that she shouldn't, she meets a bunch of bizarre characters, she faces off with the Queen of Hearts, and then she eventually finds her way back to her cat by the end of the movie. Now the Alice in Wonderland movie that came out in 1933 was 76 minutes long, and it was created for a very young audience, and it has all of the most famous characters like the White Rabbit, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, the Mad Hatter, the March Hare. The only thing is they do not look like how you would imagine them to. You know, in most of the Alice in Wonderland movies, they have the characters looking strange but still kid friendly. And in this particular movie, they were all created to be these monstrous things, like every single character was designed to terrify you. There was even this one scene in the movie where the Queen of Hearts is having this giant feast and literally the food on their plates come alive and become these like creepy food beasts and like run around, they have these faces. It is so weird. And a lot of people say that the other really creepy thing about this movie is that the actors are obviously wearing these giant weird costumes and sometimes if the mouths of these creatures open really wide, you can see the actor's face like buried beneath the costume and it looks like humans are trapped inside these creepy monsters. Like it literally looks Looks like people are needing to be freed. <laughs> because kids were so afraid to see this movie, it was a flop at the box office, which really isn't surprising. And then it was also soon overshadowed by other fantasy films that became classics like The Wizard of Oz. And so like I said, this Alice in Wonderland movie soon became super forgotten. Like I even had never heard about this film until now, until I was doing research for like creepy old black and white movies. And it's so bizarre how these filmmakers didn't hold back at all in trying to make Wonderland look as sinister and uninviting as possible. And as much as like this whole thing creeps me out, I'm also really intrigued by it. Like a lot of people nowadays will go and try to watch this movie just because of how strange and unsettling it is. And they recently put this movie on DVD and Blu-ray, so guess what I bought? I bought this movie to watch on the vlog channel. <laughs> it's actually coming in like two days, so I'm going to react to it on my other channel called Vlogs. 
because I am afraid. Now, there are a lot of adults now who look back on their childhood and remember seeing this movie and they weren't sure if it was like a dream or not, like if this movie was actually real. A lot of adults say it was like a fever dream when they were a child. And they also say that a lot of these creepy characters stayed with them for years, like they could not stop thinking about them. I also read a bunch of other reviews from adults who watched this movie as a kid and said it was cursed. There was this one viewer who decided to watch it at 3 a.m. with his friends at a sleepover and apparently the power went out in his house mid-movie, but somehow the only light that stayed on in their house was their TV screen and it was frozen on a scene of one of the creepy characters' faces and it stayed like that all night. Like they went and got their parents, they couldn't figure out how to turn the TV off, they didn't understand why the rest of the power in their house was out. It was just so weird. So yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna watch that because I am literally crazy. Now, this wasn't the only really creepy Alice in Wonderland film that ever came out. There was one that came out in 1903. It was a silent film and it was the very first Alice in Wonderland that was ever created. It came out only a few years after the writer Lewis Carell died. And because film technology wasn't great back then, obviously it was literally the turn of the century. They were only able to make this into a 12 minute film. But at the time it was the longest film ever produced in Britain and honestly just watching these scenes is so creepy guys. It's completely silent and to explain a scene they have to put the words up on the screen. Obviously no one's talking. There's only like music playing behind all the scenes and like honestly watching it it reminds me of like an American horror story intro scene. <laughs> You know what I mean? Now, while I was doing research for this video, I found out some really intriguing facts about Alice in Wonderland, and I found out that the writer wasn't going to call it Alice in Wonderland at first. He actually had a bunch of other titles. Like, he was gonna call it Alice's Adventures Underground, and then once that was rejected, he decided on Alice's Hour in Elfland. That was rejected. Another idea was Alice Among the Fairies, and then finally, he came up with Alice in Wonderland, which I feel like is just the best one. Now. Any of these adaptations like books and movies were actually banned in some countries when they first came out and the reason for them being banned was because animals should not use human language. Really? I don't know why that was such a big deal. I don't know if they thought it was like teaching kids like wrong things, you know, they're not factual things. But yeah, in some countries animals were not supposed to be able to talk. Anyways guys, that is the end of today's video. I just really had to show you guys that this movie exists. And I feel like more people should be talking about it and watching it because it's just so weird. But yeah, I bought the movie. I'm going to react to it on my vlog channel. I'm so nervous, but also kind of really excited because you know me, when things are weird, I want them. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Don't forget if you would like to enter to win this backdrop, go and follow my Yana Instagram and my main Instagram and DM me your favorite quote. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.